Guys, I actually can't believe this just happened. I'm sitting here in my room, just tweeting about how I'm apologizing for not uploading for like four days. I swear to God, I can't believe this just happened, Mom. What happened? You know what happened, you heard it. <laughs> so I'm just sitting there on my computer and all of a sudden I hear a car speed up. It's going vroom, and I knew something was gonna happen. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know if they were like speeding past our block or what. I thought they hit something. Yeah, it sounded like somebody hit something and then my well, dog started screaming. You check your car. You gotta check the computer. I'll check the computer. We got cameras now, this is screwed up. This is so wrong, dude. Check this out. So I walk outside, right? I saw this, I ran back upstairs. I went to go grab my camera. Look at this, dude. What the f dude, this is some f it. Somebody egged my car. Look at all this shit. Dude, this is actually- Mom! This is terrible! Mom, there's like 10 eggs on my car! What the f***, dude? You gotta hose that off. Mom, this is terrible. I'm not even joking. Like, I don't know why somebody would do this to me. That, that ruins your paint. I know, I just got a detailing on my car, too. I'm gonna get a light for you guys so you guys can see it, because I'm not waiting until the morning to clean this up. This is ridiculous. Ma, get the camera. Dude, this is actually bullshit. I'm so f mad. Mom, I bet you it's the same exact person who came and mooned your house. Exactly. Like last two months ago. Not moon my house, but the uh, the same guy that um you got eggs when in your apartment. Yeah. Yeah, same guy. So guys, I don't know if you know about this. I don't think I ever made this public information. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I, de I definitely didn't vlog about this. I didn't tell you guys anything about this. But I used to live in a gated community, and somebody snuck into the gated community and egged my car in the gated community. There's only two eggs. But I knew somebody egged it. This time, I'm gonna go back outside after we see this, or actually I'll go right now while my mom's uploading the footage. This time, somebody took like 10 eggs and egged my car. And it's actually disgusting. I just got a detailing. I just spent like a lot of money just to get this car detailed. It was the first time I've ever done it before. Thank God my windows weren't open, dude. The interior mats of my car are actually still damp and still drying, and I was actually thinking about leaving the windows open just so that they could dry better. If I did that, my whole material would have been screwed. Mom, your phone's ringing. Tina, hello? Hi, Doug, what's going on? Tina, you will never believe what just happened. You're coming to Manhattan with me tonight? No, somebody egged my car. What? Yeah, I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking, Tina, somebody egged my car. Why did somebody egg your car? I don't know, and it's so bad. There's literally, I'm not even joking, Tina, there's like, there's 10 eggs all over my car. All I heard, I was in my room, literally about to like talk about my Call of Duty team, and all of a sudden, I just hear this car speed up fly by the house and I just heard this huge dun, 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 dun. it sounded like splats and I'm like somebody egged our house I walked outside and it was all over my car oh man that sucks alright guys look I just put my flashlight on my phone so you guys can see this look at all this dude this isn't even nothing right here this is only like three eggshells here on the side of my car this side is good because they drove up the street over there top of my car look at all these eggs here look at this and this is where it gets even worse too on the front you see an eggshell here you see a couple of the eggs on the windshield. I'm trying to so show you guys with the light too. Look at how disgusting this is, dude. This isn't even funny. Look, it's all over the windshield, the side of my car, the ground over here, eggshells all over here on the side. Look at this. This is freaking disgusting, man. This is even funny. Now I need to clean all this because if I let this dry on my car, it's gonna ruin my car. Like who would even think something like this is funny, dude? You guys have no idea. I'm actually so mad right now. <laughs> I can't believe some people, man. This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. It's very rude. Yeah. All you do is try to do good for people and then they act like <laughs> Who's this? I'll film them. Yeah, that's why they just stopped and came out, right? I, w I would move away, Doug. From the egg. Let's see. Is they coming for you again? Yep. They must have. They just pulled up and opened the door and then they pulled away. Was there any people in that car? Yeah. Did they do anything? No. They just pulled up and then left? I guess. They didn't go inside the house or anything? No. That's ridiculous. Look at all that over there. Ma, get up closer. Go, go up. Well, that's messed up. You can see it all. All right, so uh, I just finished cleaning off my car. There's still a couple of chips on the car. I hope that it gets cleaned off with a car wash. I couldn't get it with the hose. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys how I feel and tell you guys what I think about the situation. Me being a YouTuber and talking about these things, because I'm sure I'm not the only person that this happens to. Um, I know that if I make a video talking about this, it's gonna give attention to the people who do this, and I guarantee you, you guys are out there watching this right now and you think you're funny, and it's not funny. But if you're really trying to be a prankster, don't, don't ask me for advice about being a prankster. I suck at pranking. I always backfire on my pranks, but if you're trying to be a prankster, there's like a thousand other pranks you can do. Just go on Google and type in funny pranks. That type of prank just is not cool. No, it's not cool at all. 
Nah. Vandalizing somebody's property is never a funny or a cool prank. And I know I'm only just a YouTuber, you know, I'm not some, I, even though I have millions of followers on social media and people view me in certain different ways, I'm not some sort of like a Hollywood actor or anything, okay? My YouTube channel is 100% organic, it is all real. What you guys see is what you get. This is me as a person and I try to share my life. No matter how big my following gets and no matter how little I am, I always told myself, Starting from day one when I had zero subscribers, I'm gonna make it big I'm gonna have a millions and millions of subscribers, but I'm gonna be the exact same person Obviously, I'm gonna change as I grow up in life, but I want to make this YouTube channel very organic Okay, and unless if I'm doing like a, a skit and I'll put a link in the description Then I just want all my videos to be super super organic and just fun and uplifting and inspiring to you guys And I've been going through so much crap recently. I'm not trying to get down and negative Okay, but I can't believe this just happened like I said earlier in the video This is not the first time this happened to me and I've never really advertised anything like this obviously I made one video saying this is not okay when people were coming at my family and like vandalizing our house which is not cool at all the first time this happened two things went through my head one somebody really just does not like me and has some sort of a grudge against me or two they just want attention and they want me to make a YouTube video about it so I ended up not doing anything I didn't post a video I didn't do nothing about it at all I kind of just went on with my life and I didn't want to talk about it because I didn't want to give anybody attention but then it happened again where people came up to my mom and they started mooning my mom and I showed you guys in the video that I made called this is not okay so my mom is going through the footage right now and she is gonna find the footage we are going to send this to the police and we we are going to catch who did this. I know in the past at the Face House New York, um, I miss the Face House New York by the way, but I remember in the Face House New York, a lot of things would happen at that house. You'd have fans showing up at that house every 15 minutes. It was insane. I know people stole from that house. I know people did crazy, crazy things. And I've seen Faze Rain make videos on this. I've seen Rug make videos on this too when people came up to his house and vandalized it. It's just not the right thing to do. I don't know how many times people are gonna have to make videos. I know there's gonna be people out there that say, oh, but the times you make videos about it, the times you address it, it's just gonna get worse and worse. Well, this has already happened to me two times and I never talked about it before. This is actually the fourth time it's happened, but once to my mom, twice to me. This is the third time this has happened to me and I always ignore it. And like, I haven't even posted a YouTube video in four days now. Uh, I've been going through so much, getting my team ready, getting my house ready, figuring out a closing date. I'm just doing some grown up stuff. It's just crazy to me. I feel like I use this platform for good. I try to be a role model to you guys. I truly do. I, I watch a lot, a lot of this drama that's going on all over the internet. I always watch the drama and I'm always seeing it. And I'm seeing what Rice comes saying, how he doesn't want to be a role model. Everyone on YouTube just tries to be a role model. He just wants to do his thing, which I respect. Rice comes my boy, by the way. I've known him since like four years ago before we both even did YouTube, but I respect that. But I came into this space and I said to myself, I want to be a role model for people and I want to send a good positive message to people. So to me, I just can't understand why why someone would want to do that to me. It, it just blows my mind. Um, I wish I could know who it was. I'm going to find out who it is eventually, whether they want to do it again or we're going to find out on the camera, we will find this person. I was speaking to my mom early in the morning about this. She was telling me how I have a bunch of young fans out there who watch my videos. I know all of you guys out there, you're the best people in the world. I've met so many of you guys. I met kids as young as 10 years old. I met fans as old as 40 years old. Okay, most of you guys are probably like 17, 16. You guys are really cool and you guys are all growing up and I want to give you all a piece of advice because I was in that position. I was a 14 year old kid who thought it would be cool to go around and vandalize things. I remember I, I kicked garbages down at the end of my block one time and this guy came out of his house, dragged me by my ear back to my mom's house. I'm, I don't know if I told the story and I was kicking garbages down, drags me down back to my mom's house, tells my mom that I was vandalizing by kicking garbages. My mom looked at me. She gave this look. I'm going to put this look on the screen. I took this on my Snapchat this morning. I mean, it's just censor. My mom thought I pranked us and I didn't do anything at all. It was funny. She gave me that same look that's right there on the screen and she goes, Oh my god, that actually hurt. She slapped me so hard and grounded me from Call of Duty for like a week. And I was actually really upset. And I was like, I can't believe how stupid I was. Why was I kicking garbages down? I thought it was funny in the moment. And I realized how dumb it was once I did that. And since that day, I never did anything wrong. I, I mean... I do crazy stuff all the time, but nothing nothing like, you know, breaking the law or anything crazy like that. So I know a lot of you guys out there are young. I know a lot of you guys are out there going to make mistakes. I've already made a lot of mistakes. I'm going to keep making mistakes, but I just really want to get this message across to you guys. Do not do whatever these assholes just did to my car because you will get caught and you will have to face the consequences and you're going to think again how I thought 15 years, 10 years ago. Wow, how could I have been that stupid? You know, there's just so many better things you can do with your life, whether it's reading a book, practicing a sport, getting your grades up, I don't know, going to the gym. There's like so many productive things. I preach this so many different times. Do something productive with your life. Do something good with your life. You only get one life and make the most of it. I don't want to have to go out in the freezing cold and hose off my car from eggs and maybe get my paint scratched and have to pay thousands of dollars to fix it. It's not cool, man. So I'll give you guys an update on the car uh, tomorrow after I get a car wash. Hopefully everything gets taken off of it. 
what are you gonna do, right? Like, it's just, I don't know, just stupid. It, it just really makes me upset. It really pisses me off. I, I think we could do better than this. I really do. Um, also, I'm gonna give you guys an update with the team as well. I'm gonna either announce it tomorrow or on Sunday. So if you guys are hyped for that, please let me know in the comments down below. Smash the like button on this video. Again, I am so sorry for not posting for like the last three or four days. I've just been dealing with so many different grown up things and it's my fault and I take full responsibility for that. Okay, I'm going to do better. I promise you guys. Thank you guys all so much for the support. Hope you guys all have a great day. Um, last thing I wanna say, the house is gonna be ready very soon too. I think actually like near Yunette's birthday, believe it or not, she's in Spain right now, which is crazy. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day. It's been your boy Doug Sensor Martin, and I'm out guys. Peace.